let's just say you are in the market for an iPhone. Well, there is the latest iPhone 12 and then there is the previous generation iPhone 11. Now, they're very same but also very different at the same time. But the main difference between them is the price. If you think the price over the iPhone 11 for the iPhone 12 is worth it, or the move for the iPhone 12. But if you think it's not, maybe the iPhone 11 is the right choice for you. Well, in the end, it is an iPhone. And also, iPhone 11 will do pretty much everything you want to do with iPhone 12. Now, the exact same case is with these two products the Honda City 4 Gen and the Honda City 5th Gen. Now, the topmost variant of the 4 Gen is priced at 9.99 lakhs, and the base variant of the 5th Gen is priced at 10.99 lakhs. Now, is this different of 1 lakh rupees worth it? We're gonna find out in this video. I'm Devson Mani, and you're watching The Driver's Hub. about this design that I really really adore. Um, starting from the front, there is the cliche Honda honeycomb grille and this chrome strip running all over it. Here, you get the LED DRLs. Uh, halogen headlamps by the way, no LED headlamps here. And when you come to this side, here you get the 15 inch machine cut alloy wheels as standard even in the basic model. So, and the new generation gets the normal alloy wheels. And I prefer these over that any day. And when we talk about here, there's this line running all over here, which really helps this car get that sporty platform, if you know what I'm saying. Um, and when you get in the back, then there's again the cliche wonder of long grip. All in all, there's nothing new about this design. You have seen it quite a lot. I didn't need to tell you more about it. Let's move on to the new gen. Low to the ground and shouts out aloud that it's a sedan. Coming to these wheels, these are 15 inch normal alloy wheels. The upper variants do get a bigger and more stylish wheels, but this is what you get in the V variant. <laughs> Coming to the side, uh, yes, there is a line, but it isn't, it isn't very substantial or anything. Now, the back is where I feel this car is the most distinguishable and the best looking. Uh, it has got these long LED tail lamps which you even get in the base variant. Also, this is a pretty good car to look at. <laughs> Overall, I think Honda has done a really amazing job designing this car. Which one do you like more? The last generation or this one? Do tell us in the comment section down below. Keeping it aside on what's changed on the outside, let us see what changes Honda has made on the inside. As soon as you step inside this cabin, you know this is the place you want to be in. This is a much more airier cabin thanks to the bigger length and width. Also, this is a much better laid out cabin. It's much more less, you know, plasticky. The plastic quality is significantly better than the previous one. Also, also, one thing that really points me is the placement of the start-stop button. Many a time, it just hides behind the steering wheel. The placement in the previous one is much better. You get this 8-inch touchscreen, uh, which is also the new generation Honda's uh, touchscreen. This is better than the previous one, no doubt, but uh, this could have been better. So this is the base uh, trim of the 4th generation, that is the SV. Uh, this isn't the top of the variant, the top of the variant line is the V variant. Uh, when you feel, when you look at this interior, you do realize that it has kind of started to show its age. But it isn't anything major. Uh, if you uh, take the V variant, you do get a start-stop system and an 8-inch 
touch screen system which also has uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, overall, this is a very familiar cabin, but it doesn't feel like you are eight or ten years behind. It feels okay. Yeah, I mean the new competitors are offering better interiors, but if you don't really care, this cabin can be really useful. City, and there's nothing new about this engine. Uh, this is the same old 1.5 liter Honda's naturally aspirated engine, producing 119 horses. But the thing is, even after so many years, you just cannot hate this engine. Um, you want to reach a legal speed, you just put your down the accelerator, and there is more than power you'll ever need. You can pretty much overtake any vehicle easily. Also, the sound of this Ivy Tech, I think it's my personal favorite. Some people call it noisy, but uh, I don't mind it. Also, one thing that I don't like about this interior is the gear lever. Uh, I think it's it's it feels very very cheap. The gear shifts are noisy. I mean, this is satisfying click to it. They aren't smooth. I like them smooth. Also, the other thing that I don't like about this interior, um, there is a certain bit of rattling in it, which I don't expect from even a 9.99 Acrobees vehicle. And when it comes to handling, uh, nothing here for the enthusiast. But it is decent enough. Uh, your dad will probably be very happy with it. All in all, this is a very capable engine. I'll prefer this 1.5 liter naturally aspirated engine any day. Yeah, maybe not over the sh what the wags offer, but this engine has a class of its own and you just cannot hate it. And for a 9.9 lakh rupee vehicle, I think this is totally worth it. Now here's the thing about the 5th generation. Even though the engine of both these vehicles, the 4G and the 5G, is pretty much the same. Uh, this delivering 2 more horsepower, which you can't feel at all. But the difference is the way these two engines deliver the power. The 4G felt like, you know, when you put the accelerator down, it felt like it's crying out loud. While in this engine, it feels much more seamless. The envious levels are very well contained. Yes, you can hear the noise of the engine, but in a good way. But if you are an amateur driver, if you don't drive cars a lot, then there is a chance that you won't notice any difference at all. Yes, the 4G only comes in manual transmission, while this comes in CVT as well as manual transmission. So this is the advantage of this one over that one. But you know when you start to love this car, when you put the accelerator down and it goes all the way to 7000 RPM, oh you, the turbos just can't match the feel of this engine. Would have I liked case me zada power ho? Absolutely yes. The bigger size of this vehicle would have preferred more power to be honest. Now there is very little scope of going wrong with the Honda City, be it the 4G or the 5G. For 9.29 lakhs for the base variant of the 4G, you get pretty decent features, an amazing looking vehicle, that amazing 1.5 liter IP tech, and the pride that comes along with buying a Honda City. Talking about the 5th generation, you might not get a completely new engine, but you do get a much more capable car. Let me put it this way. Everything the 4th generation does, the 5G just does it better. Now starting at 10.9 lakh rupees is the difference between the 4G and the 5G of this almost 1 lakh rupees. Worth it? Absolutely yes. I would really like to thank Samara Honda for being our partners for this video and providing us with the cars. They have almost every Honda car in their inventory with the fully sanitized staff is super helpful and they'll make sure that your car buying experience is a moment that you will always remember. So if you're looking to buy a Honda car in Delhi, you must visit Samara Honda. The details are in the description. McRae on the inside, 
take it. 